I'm Vladimir Dutia for 48 Hours. Throughout the course of my career, tragically, I've had to cover terrorist attacks all around the world. And they always leave you with a sense of loss, a sense of devastation, a sense of wanting to learn more about the people that you cover. And it's always hard because you're moving on to the next story. When the attacks in Brussels happened, I had that same sense of devastation. And it was while I was in Brussels that I had the opportunity to meet one of the victims of the terrorist bombings in Brussels at the airport, Sebastian Bellin. Hey, Sebastian. How's it going, man? Here's a man who's got two beautiful little daughters, a wife who loves him, doing what most of us do, traveling on business. And then a bomb goes off. And in this particular case, the journey that I've had with Sebastian from the moment that I met him has been incredibly fortunate for me. Uh, it's something that I've never had the chance to do. Yo! Oh, man. What's up, you. man? It's good to Look see you. Look at you. We instantly build a connection, a connection that I've never had in my career with somebody who's been affected by something so terrible. Even when he was broken and bruised and shattered, I could feel coming off of him this immense strength. And it frankly enveloped me. And it made me want to know him better. And it made me want to understand how he could be so strong just a couple of days after going through something like that. And we were very fortunate that he allowed us into his life, into his recovery process. <laughs> So join me for the long road home, Saturday on 48 Hours.